What is going on guys? Today I want to bring to you a new series on scaling Node.js applications. Now, if you're a Node developer, you've been in one of these conversations or you will be in one of these conversations and I want to prepare I want to prepare you guys to like answer these things once these things come up. When this conversation comes up, I want you to be the first guy or gal to raise your hand and be like, I know what this is. Sign me up. I want to do it. And um, I'm going to fail miserably, but I'm going to do it because this guy on YouTube told me how to do it. And I don't know if you taught it well, but I want to do it. That's the, that's the kind of attitude I want you to get into that kind of stuff. But no, seriously, you're not serious. This this is going to give you a great idea how to actually scale up your applications. But this series is going to be talking about this cube right here. All right. This cube. Yeah, it's a beautiful cube. This cube tells you a lot of things. All right. And it's called the scale cube, as you can see right there. We're going to be we're going to be discussing the three directions in which an application can be scaled. First, we're going to be starting off by talking about cloning, a.k.a forking our Node.js processes into multiple instances. Then we're going to be talking about grouping these instances under our own main process and create clusters that never have to go down. Meaning that if one instance decides to go down, it just decides to like, okay, I'm going to kill myself. Well, there's other instances that take its place. That's what we're going to be doing. Oh yeah. Next, we're going to be talking about data layers that can, that can be scaled. Specifically, we'll, we'll be discussing how to split data between databases using te a technique called horizontal partitioning. I'm talking too fast. My brain can't keep up, so try to keep up. Horizontal partitioning. Finally, we're going to be decomposing our applications into even smaller applications called microservices. Now, if you don't know what a microservice is, it's basically a tiny service that is designed to only work on part of the business features. Part of it, just part of it, okay? Part of the business features. That's what a microservice is, to work on that. So, by the end of this series, guys, you will learn how to fork, cluster, meaning grouping all these instances, horizontal partitioning for our data, and microservices. With these four guys, you will learn how to, know, you will learn, you will know how to scale your node application at a breeze. It's not going to be a breeze, obviously. I just made that up. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I lied. But you will know how to do it at least. And it's going to be easier than before because you're going to know the the basics on these things. And this is kind of an, an advanced topic to talk about. So I'm sorry for those um, new or, or uh, new people trying to learn Node.js. I did do a Node beginner's playlist and I'm still doing that currently. But if you haven't, checked that out. But this is more advanced and I just wanted to bring this series up for you guys so that way you could just, you know, meditate in that, you know, soak it in because this is this is literally going to be a uh, conversation you will have later on when you're trying to scale your application if you're using Node.js because as we all know it's single threaded and dude, Node only takes so many traffic, so much traffic. That's why we got to make instances. That's why we scale it up. That's what we mean by scaling it up. But hope to see you guys in the first video that I make and hope that you like this series because if you don't, I'm still going to be doing it because people <laughs> because people actually are interested in this kind of stuff. So, I mean, thanks, guys, anyways, for, um, you know, just keeping patient with me, I guess. So, you know, see you in the first video. All right. Good talk.